When you're working with an ensemble, of course, an ensemble, what is an ensemble? It's a group of human beings and they're all gonna have their own stuff going on. Maybe some of them are nervous about the performance. Um, some of them are relaxed. Some of them are, you know, they are gonna get a little bit of a nervous reaction when you start sticking mics in front of them. Others have had that happen you know, 3,000 times and they're not going to worry about it. The main thing you have to do is make sure that in addition to the, the, the gear stuff, make sure everybody's comfortable and a lot of that is gear stuff, is the ensemble hearing what they need to hear. Now if it's a choir or an orchestra, they're probably not going to need monitors. They're just performing as a large ensemble. If it's a jazz combo, then they're going to need some kind of monitoring. They're going to need some way of hearing one another. Basically, in a jazz combo situation, you're going to close mic things. You may end up with 10 inputs, 14 inputs, maybe 20 inputs, maybe more. With an ensemble, a choral group, and uh, maybe a string quintet, maybe even a full orchestra, depends on what you're doing. If you're amplifying, you may need a whole lot of microphones, but if you're recording, you might be able to get away with two or four mics, you know, if they're well placed, because here's a big difference between a jazz combo and an orchestra or a choir. The former has instruments that do not balance naturally. A singer is not going to be able to compete with a drum set in almost any situation. So you're going to have to do some leveling to make sure that that works for the audience, whether it's the live audience or audience listening to the recording. A choir or an orchestra, they have a conductor and the conductor is creating a balance which not only is going to work, but it's kind of the supreme law of the universe that your amplified sound and or recording is reflecting what that conductor is doing. The conductor is not going to be happy if you're trying to rewrite their their balance. That's not what you're there for. So make sure that your recording or your amplification is going to reflect what the director of that chorus wants. And so I will always have the director come out in the house. If I'm doing live sound for an ensemble like this, I will always have the director come out in the house, stand with me and give me advice. What do you think? You know, how, how is this? Does this reflect the balance that you want, Maestro? And hopefully the answer is yes, but if it's no, great. You'd rather know now than after the performance is done. And that's one of the beautiful things about working with uh, an ensemble like a choir or an orchestra, a chamber orchestra, an opera, whatever it might happen to be, is that there is a director. You're not answerable to the 80 people who are on stage performing. You're answerable to the one person who's got the baton in their hand.